lovers welcome back to my channel okay if you hear anything different you hear anything different you probably don't but i got a fucking mic okay look <laughs> your girl is elevating the music the music the volume should be good you should be able to hear me clearly hopefully um all right look you see me i'm trying you know i'm trying to elevate oh shit i don't want to burn him All right, all right, all right. Put a little lotion on and then we're gonna get started. Okay, oh shit, I don't even know what we, look, y'all always here with me, my random little intros. Um, Spirit, what is the question today? I didn't even know, I just jumped on the camera. Oh, they want me to do it in depth, in depth. <laughs> what do you need to know from Spirit? Because I gave y'all a little small one, yes. Well, no, a couple days ago. I was tired. I was I was tired. But we got this motherfucking mic and we got time today, bitch. Okay? We got time today. All right. So let's pick on let's pick the pouch that I just got the mic out of. It's the Irene mic. I, I got this from uh, Micro Center. It might be online. Um I got my grinder. It's dirty, don't judge it. I have my lemonade from um Chipotle because that's what I ate today. And then we have C, we got B, and we got A. Pick the pal that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I have readings on my website, thelovemealways.com. I am on Instagram at QueenSandraXO. I am on Twitter at QSandraXO, and I'm also on Patreon as Queen Sandra XO, which is where all my sexual readings, I just did a reading the other day. I'm actually about to post a poll today to see what you guys want to see next. Half the time y'all choose nasty shit, but we're, <laughs> we're going to do a poll and ask everything, okay? Um, my, 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 mom. Let's get started. Hi, pal A. Okay, pal A. So, Spirit wants to do an in-depth what should you know from Spirit. I think that's a great one. All right, Spirit, direct my path. Okay, look, you already got me. You ready for me. You ready. Actually, actually, look, direct my footsteps in this guidance. Make sure that I give them the best of the best because I rewatch these videos all the time. And look, I want to be shorted. I don't want to short y'all. Don't short me. So I am asking for the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and the most information you can possibly give me about Pal A. Okay stop and consider okay let me see what's the um what is it then stop and consider okay i thought that was for me okay it's about a i'm sorry i hope that wasn't a lot of noise oh okay let's see um i am excited to share the things i no longer love or need with people who love and need them more mm -hmm. As I celebrate and support the financial, oh, Spirit saying, don't be a hater, don't be a hater. Look, as I celebrate and support the financial success of others, I open my life to even more good. Don't be a hater. If you see somebody doing good, be happy for them, truly happy for them because, look, your day will come. Uh, I let go of all I know going along. Yeah, um, maybe you need to do some spring cleaning. Maybe you should let the nigga go because, you know... <laughs> it's like look your trash is somebody else's treasure oh look at these cards over here what are these cards doing i'm sorry but no 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 serious no i feel like there's something that it keeps on saying share the things i no longer love i let go of all i no longer love need or use i adore my space there's something about you either because it could be, I've heard that spirit moves in better energy and cleaner environments. That's probably why spirit tells, that's probably why the Bible tells you to make sure that you are tidy and clean because spirit moves better. I remember when Shango first came to me, he told me to clean my kitchen before he could even say anything to me. So <laughs> I felt some, I didn't feel no type of way, but I was like, oh, <laughs> so it's it's probably trying to bring in better energy. That's why y'all are supposed to vacuum your house. That's why y'all are supposed to open your curtains so you can bring light in. Just so energy and the energy can flow better. Mm, 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 that's why you're not supposed to have things in front of your altar, Lissandra. You don't want to constrict that flow of movement. 
All right. Or you just need to clean up your house. You know, either one. It doesn't matter. Uh, I honor and protect my sensitivity. I live in a constant stream of miracles. You fucking right. Okay. One more. I am. Oh, and all my cards that I use are listed down below. This card is this deck is listed down below as well. Uh, I am a master at setting boundaries that protect my time, energy, creativity, emotional, and, and emotional well-being. Okay. And then at the bottom of the deck, I am gentle with myself, which kind of corresponds with I honor and protect my sensitivity. And at the top of the deck, I surround myself with authentic, loving people who share my journey of personal growth and awakening. And that kind of goes with this card as well. And then let's go with the middle card. Let's see. Like, don't force it. Just, just let it come. Just let it come. See, there it is right there. I am, I am focused, focused, girl. I am focused, organized, and easily able to honor my priorities that need my attention. So, I feel like Spirit is kind of saying, don't be a hater. The, rely on divine timing. Don't be upset about someone else's success. Always, you know, be happy for other people because you want those people to be happy for you, is right? Um... It's something that you need to like give. Maybe you need to start giving more to charity. Maybe you just need to like clean your house up and give your clothes away that you no longer use. Me. Um, <laughs> you just, it's fear just saying like clean your home, do some spring cleaning, clean out the things you no longer need. Like, you know, like open some space up because when you clean out a drawer, you tend to fill that drawer up with new things. You know what I'm saying? So just go with that energy. Uh, Spirit is saying live your life as if every day you were to have a miracle, like Spirit is saying, you have, um, you're going to have constant streams, constant energies, constant miracles coming towards you. So be, be in that energy of receiving. Okay. The most beautiful thing I love, uh, besides the miracle part is be gentle with yourself. Now I know a lot of women, uh, watch me. And I always tell women, like, uh, I always tell men that women, you know, you date women because you like that sensitive energy that we have, that nurturing energy, you know. So if you have to cry, cry. If you have to call someone and talk, talk. Like, honor yourself. Be gentle with yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself. If you didn't win it this time, doesn't mean you won't win it next time. That just meant that you weren't ready. Prepare yourself, you know, just because you didn't ace this test doesn't mean that you won't ace it again i mean ace it the next time doesn't mean that so just be be very gentle with yourself take time don't force it okay go with the flow and protect who you are so if somebody is mad at you because of who you are fuck them it is what it is but honor yourself and protect yourself put yourself first value yourself um and be gentle with yourself don't be so critical you know we always tend to be our worst critics I am a master at setting boundaries that protect my time, energy, creativity, and emotional well-being. <sighs> that kind of corresponds with all of this, actually. <laughs> um, hold on one second. <clears throat> I just really feel like now is now is the time where spirit is saying you have to be in the energy of protecting who you are, protecting your time, protecting your energy, protecting your sensitivity. Being gentle with yourself, like being rough on, well, I don't, I don't want to tell you to be rough on other people, but yes, but be more rougher with other people than you are with yourself. Like sometimes we'll give other people a pass, but we will never give ourselves that pass. You know what I'm saying? So it's now is the time for you just to be more protective of your energy, be protective of your energy and don't give everybody you cause you, you are fucking amazing. Everybody doesn't deserve you. Okay. So Ain't nobody going to love you the way you love you. Protect that energy. Um, because you only got one body this lifetime. Protect that shit. Uh, I am focused, organized, and easily able to honor my priorities. I surround myself with authentic. And that kind of goes hand in hand with this. You need to uh, make sure that the people that are around you are there for your personal growth. Are there for your elevation. Are there for your well-being. Are there for your just to love you. Make sure that you surround your people with, uh, surround yourself with authentic people and, uh, get shit done that needs to get done. So if you knew, you know, you need to file your taxes, 
file your taxes. If you know that you need to uh, get a project done and get it done. If you know that you have priorities and things that you need to get done, get done. And the best way to do it, because sometimes when we have a lot of shit to do, is just to write down a list what's most important at the top, what's least important at the bottom, and then check out, go from the bottom to the top because it'll be easier. Like if I got to go put a mail, uh, put a letter in the mail, that's priority, but it's easy. Do that. Okay. So just, just, just one day at a time, one day at a time, but make sure that you're getting shit done. Um, and the message that I really want to leave you with is Cause I don't know. Should I go further, spirit? Okay, they said leave you with a little messy ouch. Okay. All right. Oh, I hope I'm not breathing so hard. You know, I'll be smoking and shit. <laughs> okay, let's see. Cause I got my new mic. You know. <laughs> mm, mm, all right. All right. Look. Let spirit. First of all. Hold on. No, 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 first, because we need to put fear, spirit first. Let spirit be your guide. So truly, and then you got four, four. Okay, what am I phone? Okay, Google. Why you happy? Okay, Google. Look, fucking bitch hit me. She hit me. Okay, Google. 444 four, four, angel number. I do not live in Maywood. According to Chakra to Yaw, Angel number 444 represents that you may already have a strong connection with the angels and source and you are on a path of spiritual awakening. I hate when you read the whole thing. Oh. Uh, comes to you as a sign that your prayers have been heard in the universe encourages you to stay focused to the finish line. Okay, um, that, that goes with it. <laughs> it does go with it. So truly, uh, Spirit is saying, let us be your God. And that honoring of who you are reclaim your power okay be fierce with that shit because you have obstacles to overcome and you will only overcome them when you crown yourself and honor that energy okay beautiful i love it bring your ideas to life you have been manifesting creating spirit hears you and now is your lucky time so go with peace and let that shit shine okay that's what the fuck i'm talking about and have fun. Have fun with it. So if this made any type of sense, pal A, I hope this was a... Well, I know the other one was good because, you know, I created it. But um, <laughs> I hope this was more good energy for you. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. All the decks that I use today are linked in the description box because you guys always ask. So it's in the description box. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, pal B. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just to let you know that all the decks that I am going to be using today are going to be linked below because you guys always ask. I never have the link, but now I got it for you. Okay. So let's get started. Oh, and I got my new mic. So tell me how y'all think my new mic sounds. It's because most of the people actually watch my Pal B pals. <laughs> so Pal B, give me one second. <clears throat> Pal B. <clears throat> Pal B. What do you, what does spirit need to tell Pal B? Oop, 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 oop. Trust in divine timing. I trust in the perfection of divine timing and allow my life to unfold as it should. You fucking right. Sometimes divine timing, you know, sometimes God, ain't, well, how how, how it go? Because, you know, I'll be fucking shit up. I'll be fucking it up. Um, God ain't always on your time, but he's always on time. I believe that's how it go. And it's very fucking true. Oh my God. Because if I would have gotten certain things that I asked for at that time, I would not have been ready for them. I would not have been ready for them. I love my sense of humor. Oh yeah, I, I am pretty funny, but I love my sense of humor. I find ways to be funny and delightful every day. I am worthy of more prosperity and I open my heart and hands to receive it now. You fucking right. I release. Oh, I easily release clutter from my life for good. So some, some of y'all need to get rid of shit. But we all need to do a little spring cleaning. And I love living in organized beauty. So you need to clean up and organize. Okay. I like that for you. I step into my day with quiet expectations that something wondrous will occur. You fucking right. 
Uh, listen to my body and honor its wisdom. Okay, look, get yourself ahead in life. I notice the beauty of nature every day, and it feeds my soul in delightful and delicious ways. All right, okay, I feel that. I am a mastery at setting boundaries that protect my time, energy, creativity, and emotional will. You fucking right. Top of the deck is I am focused, organized, and easily able to honor my priorities need that need my attention. And at the top of the deck, the perfect job will find me. All right. Oh, and I like this one too. I'm a shining star and surround myself with people who encourage my brightness. I feel God's presence in my life. Let's put it together. All right. Let's see. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, I forgot it was right there. I was going to say, don't you burn me, bitch. Don't you burn me. I just think those are critical. They're critical. Okay. All right. So let's go with the ones that stood up because I think that's the most critical. And something about, so if you guys been really wanting to um, change your work environment, uh, some of you guys want to quit, go to another job. Some of you guys are looking for a new job. So just, just be in the energy of knowing that the perfect job will find you and that you will have drama and you're drama free. You wouldn't have any drama in your new environment that's coming towards you if that's what you choose to do. Um, the spirit is saying, look, just because you don't, just because you want it right now don't mean that you need it right now. Trust in divine timing. Trust that things will unfold when it should be, when it should. Um, God is saying, God and spirit, your ancestors, whoever you believe the powers that be, it is, they're very much around you. You, you are very, very much loved and they, they stand close. Okay. So never feel alone. Never feel that you don't, that he doesn't hear you. Never feel that shit. Never feel that you're not worthy because God says that we have, we love you and we going to give you the things that you deserve because you are a shining star so because you are a shining star and <laughs> that kind of goes hand in hand i just thought about it in the spiritual realm sometimes we glow well sometimes we glow we always glow we glow in the spiritual world especially the more spiritually elevated you are the brighter you are baby and that attracts everything okay like a, a moth to a flame it attracts it so just know that because of your brightness, you are attracting your ancestors. You are attracting a uh, spiritual presence. Protect yourself. Never, never feel like you are truly safe because you always need to protect yourself. You always need to protect yourself. But just know that the ones that are around you, that love you, are very much here to stay with you. Okay? And because you have that in the spiritual, you need to be very careful about the physical people that are around you because everybody ain't for your good. Okay. Even family, watch them motherfuckers. They be the ones. Okay. Uh, just to surround, surround yourself with people who encourage your brightness. Be funny. Don't take life so seriously. I find ways to be funny and delightful every day. Uh, be in good energy. And the, the, the next thing is, it's saying that you are worthy of prosperity. The one, the thing that you really need to understand is that you are worthy, that you are worthy and that you are shining super brightly. And just because you don't, just because you want something today doesn't mean that you actually need it today, but it doesn't mean that you don't, that you ain't going to get it tomorrow. So just be patient in that energy. Ask for what you want to be patient in it. Okay. Uh, Focus on things that are priority. Like I told pal A, write you a list. Write the most necessary at the top, the least necessary at the bottom. Work your way from least to highest because it, it gets, it makes you feel like you are getting shit done. Progress, progress, progress. Even if it's just sending a letter in the mail that you were supposed to send, send that shit. Even if it's just an email that you were supposed to respond to, respond to it so that you can start checking that shit off the list. Spirit says, get, clean up your house, go vacuum, go wash your dishes, go wash your clothes, um, go freshen up your home and get that shit organized so that the energy can flow better. Spirit is saying, step into your day, step into your day, knowing that wondrous things will happen, knowing that miracles can happen, knowing that the impossible is never impossible. Okay. Um, and for the ones who are trying to find a new gig, new job, new business opportunity, a new business idea, whatever is coming towards you will be perfect for you. So the best, and these are affirmations. So the best thing for you to say like every day while you're trying to find this new gig 
the perfect job will find me, the perfect job will find me, the perfect job will find me. Um, and stand in that energy and know that you will get it. Spirit is saying, as you use your gifts and talents to serve others' doors, to support your success, you, you, you're going to be very successful when you use your gifts to help other people. Set boundaries with people. Set boundaries with your time. Don't give your time away to everyone. Everybody doesn't deserve you. You have two cards over your senses. Um, it's saying for you to start honoring yourself more, honoring nature, being in beauty. So when you step outside, enjoy that energy. Enjoy nature. I, I'm not a nature girl. <laughs> I'm a city girl. Um, so, you know, we don't go outside unless we need to uh, or unless we go on a party. But. I love my drives. Every time I take a drive, it, it's, it's a peace for me. So enjoy when you enjoy going outside, enjoy going into nature, enjoy being able to feel that freshness, especially it's starting to get warmer. Um, and listen to your body and honor its wisdom. You, sometimes we can uh, <laughs> heal ourselves just by listening to ourselves. And like when you eat sometimes, I know I'll be blabbering and shit, but when you eat sometimes, Listen to how your body performs to that. So if you know after you eat a certain thing, you get bloated, maybe you don't need to eat that. But if you eat another thing and you just feel super great, maybe you need to pay attention to that. Pay attention to you sleeping a lot. Why are you sleeping so much? Pay attention to why you be feeling down and why you be feeling sad all the time. Listen to yourself. Yourself will tell you when it needs care. Okay, so listen to its wisdom. And whatever you take away from that is what you meant to take away from that. A little message just to give you why I pass you along. Well, that sound like I was passing you off to the next man. I'm not passing you off to the next man. <laughs> uh, uh, let's just leave that alone. We're going to leave that one alone. All right. Oh, shit. Be at peace. Claim your independence. Time for a beginner's mind. Use that mind wisely, honey. And make your dreams come true. Make your dreams real. Turn your knowledge. There's something about your mind and your knowledge. So maybe you have learned. Oh, my. Oh, God. Oh, I was about to tell y'all. I was about to tell. <laughs> Never mind. Let me, let me stop. I'll be talking too much on camera. Um. Mm, Spirit got your back. Spirit got your back. I think you have, a, um, I'm not sure if this is a spirit animal or a spirit guide, but some of you guys have Indian in y'all family. You know, we all got Indian in our family, but, <laughs> um, I just feel like you have a, a very, very strong ancestor around you who is very, very powerful who would go to war for you? Hmm. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, well, we know spirit has your back definitely 100%. Um, be caring with your energy. Be more caring with your energy. Be, be more caring with yourself. Be gentle. Be gentle. Watch your anger. It says that you have a lot of wisdom. You need to turn this wisdom into a, a, a achievable goal. It's saying that you have some type of dream and you have the, all the knowledge that you need to make this dream uh, a reality. Let spirit be your guide because they have your back. Stand in your independence and and, and turn <laughs> time for a beginner's mind. How can I say this? Have fresh eyes when approaching this this dream that you have. Okay. Because you are a shining star. Hmm. All right. So if this made any type of sense, pal, be I like this reading. Please let me know. And I will talk to you beautiful people in the next one. Hi, pal C. All right, pal C. All right, pal C. I got a new mic. Check me out, okay? 
So if y'all, if y'all tell me how y'all uh, like this mic, and all the decks that I am using are going to be linked below. Because y'all always ask me for them. And look, baby, I'm here to deliver. Okay? <laughs> Go past two. My hormones are beautifully balanced. Um, as women, I'm just going to go off women for the men. Uh, men's hormones can be unbalanced as well. But um, one second. Okay, Google. Five, five, angel number. Success, progress, fortune. According to angel number, number 55 represents success, progress, fortune, and luck. It should encourage people use all the opportunities ahead, but also make them content during times they do not clearly see what their next step could be. Overall, number 55 is extremely positive and filled up with potential for great things. You fucking right. That's, I know that's right. I know that is right. Look, coming off the rip with blessings. I love it. I love that shit. Look, he looked crazy as hell. This card... It scares me. This is how my gray cat looks besides those crazy ass eyes. But other than that, that that's exactly how he looks. That's terrifying. It's fucking terrifying. Um, I feel God's presence in my life. I do. I feel God's presence because he is around me. I easily release clutter. I allow others to have their thoughts and feelings. Yeah, unfortunately, everybody has an opinion. Uh, as I use my gifts and talents to serve others, doors will open for my success. I am a respectful, loving person who cares deeply about how I treat people and feel safe around me. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, I'm not done. I am worthy of more prosperity and I open my heart and my hand to receive it now. I also, no, no. Oh, no, no, mommy, mommy, no, no, no. I'll call you back, old lady. I trust myself to act when the energy moves me. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. All right. So for policy, I feel yours is kind of, you have a lot of things you need to be paying attention to. Um, but the most thing that really, really caught my eye is saying that you just need to be a good person. Like every time I get a reading <laughs> and the reading is just telling me, it always tells me just to be a good person. Like, Turn out the cheek. If somebody fusses at you, say okay. Let them have their thoughts. Let them have their feelings. Let them be able to express themselves. But be respectful. Be a loving, good, loving person who cares deeply about how you treat others. So maybe you guys have been in an argument. Maybe you guys have been fussing with someone and not allowing that person to really have their thoughts and your feel and their feelings. Um, let people be people, you know. But be respectful be I wanted to smoke my blood I'm sorry <laughs> that's what <laughs> uh, I'm sorry because uh, I lost my train of thought I think they're just trying to pretty much say be a good person treat others how you want to be treated truly um, use your gifts to serve others because the more you help, the more success you will get. The more you help others with your gift, the more success you will get. It says my hormones are beautifully balanced. So if you are dealing with the issue as a woman of having an, an uh, unbalanced hormones, that is a good affirmation for you to try to get everything in alignment. Um, I'm not a doctor and I don't diagnose, I don't like giving medical advice. I don't like doing that shit. Um, but what's the best information for that spirit? Spirit says, say this affirmation every day. My homers, my hormones are beautifully balanced. Say that affirmation every day. Say it every day. Say it every day because it's going to help you to get into alignment. Um, you, you are meant to be truly 
a understanding, respectful, beautiful reflection. Because it's saying that my life is a beautiful, reflect, beautiful reflection of my soul. And treating other people the way you want to be treated is going to get you there. Allowing others to have their thoughts and feelings is going to get you to having that beautiful reflection. Um, knowing that you are worthy of more prosperity and opening your hearts and your hands. So look, please sir, more, please more sir. Like yes, opening your hands so that you can receive more. Trusting, it says, I trust myself to act when energy moves me. I feel like spirit is going to give you something. Now it's probably like maybe you're in the time of like not having a job. Maybe you're in the time of money not doing so well, business slowing down or whatever. But spirit is saying, we are giving you this rest. So when it's time to move, you will have that energy. Okay, look, I learned that lesson and it's a valuable lesson. I think every business, I think everybody will actually have that lesson once in a lifetime. Um... I honor my time and energy by making smart choices that leave me feeling good about myself. So we're going to sum this up. Be respectful. Be a good person. Treat others how you want to be treated. Allow them to have their thoughts. Allow them to have their feelings. Don't tell people that people are wrong for the way they feel and what they think. Yes, people are fucking crazy. <laughs> and some people should be condemned for their thoughts because they ruin, they ruin lives. But you gotta have, you gotta allow people to be people. Um, the way you treat pu- people is going to be a reflection upon who you are and your soul's energy, and that reflection is going to reflect back onto your life. So they always say what you put out is what you get back, and that is what spirit is trying to tell me to tell you. I, I went around the whole world, I came back, got a postcard, but I figured out what I was trying to say with this. I was trying to figure out how to sum that shit up. And what you put out is what you get back. So treat others how you want to be treated because the better you treat people, the more you serve people, the more you give people the energy. Well, I don't give people your energy, but the more you share your gift is going to open doors for you. The more you know that you are worthy of prosperity and open your heart and your hands to it, the more money you'll get. Spirit is saying right now is the time for rest and that's okay. Relax. Because when we are ready, we're going to wake your ass up and we're going to push you out the door. So you better be ready and energized and wake so you can do it. So honor that. And then it's saying honor your time and your energy by making smart choices that leave you feel good. So if you know that you have a lot of things to do, make smart choices. Don't be over your boyfriend's house fucking him all day when you know you got work to do. Lassandra. Um, <laughs> uh, I have a boyfriend, but, um, to start making smart choices that are going to lead you to being a better person. Truly, Palsy, yours is about being a better person. Not saying that you're a terrible person, but being a good person is going to serve you better than being a negative person. Um, and then this creepy ass card, I didn't even read it. It says, everyone in my house make these... Every woman in my house makes me smile. I easily release clutter from my life for good. Every pal was <laughs> every pal was about cleaning your house. So clean your house. Clean your house. Spring cleaning is going to help you out. Okay? Um, every woman in your house should be organized so that you can feel good about it. Let's get a card from the middle. Let's get a card from the middle. Don't force it. Let it come. There it is. My life is a constant stream of miracles. You goddamn right. So spirit pretty much live in a state where anything can happen. Believe in the impossible. Never believe that anything is impossible. Because trust me, I've seen some shit that'll make you be like, what? So (laughs) trust that anything is possible. Anything is possible. If I'm on here talking to the dead and the dead is telling me what to tell you and it's clearly coming out and it's resonating. I think you should probably trust in more of anything. Trust everything. No, no, no. That wasn't your card. Okay. Trust in everything. Trust that anything's possible. Because I've seen some shit. Um, let's get a little bit more messages. A little final messages for Palsy.
Oh, 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 shit. Shit. <sighs> Trust the magic. <laughs> yes, I, like I was just saying, like, believe that the impossible is possible, honey. Trust in the magic. Because, ma oh, magic works through you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. See, I know what I'm talking about. See, look, I just made it all correlate. I didn't know that card was coming out. See, trust in that. Trust in magic. Trust that anything's possible. Be playful. Don't take life so seriously. You'll look up and be miserable and shit. Let spirit be your God. Let spirit guide your steps and surrender to that energy. This is one of my favorite. Isn't it so beautiful? It's a pretty ass card to me. Um, let magic work through you and, and trust in that magic, okay? Trust that miracles are endless and that you will always be able to have exactly when you what you need when you need it. Trust that you can have anything. Trust that all door open, all doors are open. Uh, I don't want to say that all doors are open to you because not all doors will be open to you. But trust that what your heart's desires is open to you. Trust that your destiny will always be fulfilled. This and that are true. That card kind of stops me at times. Let's get a middle card. Don't force it. Let it come. Uh, shit, sum that shit up right there the abundant universe will provide that's all you really need to know trust the magic let the magic work through you miracles are endless let spirit be your god the universe will provide this and that are true i'm not sure what that means be playful and um overcome any obstacles because all your obstacles are you are going to be able to overcome this and that are true this and that are true speak truth what is that spirit Oh, Spirit is saying that they're giving you messages. They're giving you messages. So if you get like a, a, a sign here and you get a sign there, put those signs together because you are definitely getting some information. Like you're, you you got things coming towards you. Does that make sense? Like you have information coming towards you. So if you got a sign from here, you was like, oh, shit, was that a sign? And then you got a sign from there. Oh, shit, is that a sign? Yes. 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 Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> so let me know, pal, three. Uh, like I said before, all my cards are linked in the description box. Um, I got a new mic. Let me know what it sound like. And like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.